Okay, hello and welcome to Farm Space. I'm here with Dr. Andy and we're talking feedlotting. So, if you're planning to, uh, to go this route, if this is part of your way forward, especially with the current prices in maize and the current prices in uh, our meat prices, this is something you should uh, look at and understand. So, Dr. Andy, oh, thank you for talking to us and welcome. I'm privileged, thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Andy, could you take us through it? Uh, what is important to know? when we look at uh, feedlotting and feeding your animals in a feedlot? Right, yes. There's a few things, major factors that we need to take into consideration. One of them is definitely to prepare the calf for the intensive time that it's going to spend in the feedlot. One of the big things that we need to address is the stress. So preconditioning as a part of preparing the animal is a very big factor. So the next one would be health. We can buy the best genetics with the best um, EBLs and so forth, but they will not express their genetics if they're not healthy. So our health program, what we vaccinate and that we make them free of internal, external parasites and so forth, micromineral status, all these things play an important role to express that superior genetics that we buy. And then finally, the, the production, the cost of that production is very important. So we have got different tools to reduce the cost of production, growth promoters and what have you, health plays a role. So we need to keep an eye on that to make a profit at the end of the day because that's why we're feeding. Okay, uh, just to you know, so that for the guys that's not going to do it for the first time, they might, the cows might be used to running on, on a more of a dry field. Um, uh, how do they convert in, in that preconditioning phase? Uh, how, who do they talk to? How do they approach this? Because that could be quite challenging. Absolutely, and that's a good question. So one of the important things is to get that rumen ready. You know, as you were referring to, those calves come from mainly from grass backgrounds or they're eating grass of sorts. So now they're going to come into the feedlot where they need to take care of a high energy, usually corn or whatever, ration. So to get them over that adaptation, preconditioning is an excellent one. And how you can do it is you get your nutritionist that he formulates a ration so that he gets already introduced into the grain factor or the concentrate factor on preconditioning, but on a low level and the rumen adapts to it, the microorganisms in the rumen adapt to it and then you have a flying start once they hit the feedlot. Dr. Danny, thank you very much and uh, we're looking forward to the rest of your videos that you're making for us. So we're doing a full program with Dr. Andy, make sure you don't miss it and um, uh, if you have any questions, uh, talk to us, we will put you in contact with the right guy, Dr. Andy or a nutritionist or a TSA in your area, so make sure to follow the full Verbeck program on feedlotting. Until next time, cheers.